Hello, welcome to Dragon Studio and Dragon HQ. I'm Caroline, the original Dragon Lady. So, week ahead readings for you coming up. Uh, so, it's going to be week commencing the 31st of October 2021. If you're catching this up and it's a few weeks or a few months later, stay tuned. Just because you didn't catch it live, it doesn't mean to say it's not relevant to you. So, you may not have needed to hear it then, but you do need to hear it now. So there could well be a dragon message in there or some words of wisdom that you need to hear, even though it's a few weeks or a few months later. So if you're not familiar with the cards, these are mine. I'm the author of uh, author of these, the Dragon Path Oracle, published by Watkins. And my amazing artist is Tira Sviri. So the artwork in these is stunning. It's the, probably some of the best dragon imagery I've ever seen. I don't think there's anybody yet has done... Um, such good depictions apart from somebody like Anne Stokes who does incredible dragon dragon art um, but she hasn't she hasn't done a dragon oracle as far as I know anyway so who have we got for you I normally do a couple of cards sometimes it's three sometimes it's two we'll see who comes out if anybody as you know they can be a bit zingy these cards and they like to fly out and make their presence known so it's anything specific for the week ahead for you they will jump about and it may be not that everything you know not it may be that just the one one card is for you maybe maybe both cards or all three cards are for you it's uh just see see what resonates and take from it what you need to take from it now i'm gonna have to choose a couple i think because they're not gonna not gonna be not gonna jump about today because sometimes they're very lively right you stuck so i'll have you and who else do we need? Anybody else? Oh, hello, there's one on my... Oh, there's four on my lap. See, when you draw half a dozen, it doesn't count. <laughs> and I'm not doing six cards. So uh, let's go with... Let's have you. So who have we got? Oh, Platinum. And Luna. Interesting, because we're coming up um, to the new moon, actually. The new moon's on... Next Thursday, which is the is it the fourth, fourth of November. So, platinum, platinum's a grand master, and he connects with Saint Germain and the violet flame. So, there's a couple of things here with platinum. It's a time of it's a time of transmutation and transformation. Actually, perfect seeing as it's uh, it's Samhain at this weekend coming. So, platinum's all about. But a bit of trans transformative work for you to do. It's whether you need to go inward, whether you need to do some reflection, whether you need to, to clear your energy. It might even be a physical type. Get the house straight, get your get your house in order, you know, clear the garage, the stuff you've been putting off doing. Maybe it's that physical kind of stuff that needs to happen around you for you to clear your space. You know, there's a saying, isn't there? You know, tidy space, tidy mind. Um, my husband refers to my car as being a skip. Um, <laughs> he doesn't know how, the, how I can possibly live like it. But my workspace, I've got to have completely sorted and tidy. I can't have, I can't have chaos. So maybe, maybe there's that kind of transformation for you to do. So it could be, it could be practical. It doesn't always have to be spiritual. Or it does make us feel better. We get a bit more orderly. So platinum, <clears throat> energy shift, energy change. A bit of meditation is going to be needed with when platinum shows up. And he also brings in, a, he brings in the new chakra colours as well. So there's an opportunity for you to connect with, with platinum and check in and connect with those new chakra colours that are around. I'm getting it. Of course, it's that time of year, and I always get like this, you know, this this slow down and regroup type of thing. And I feel that the platinum's saying a similar kind of thing to you: regroup, slow it down a little bit. I'm just looking at the colours. The colours on platinum. If I just put pick him up. I don't know if you can see him there. But the colours on platinum, they're very sort. Of, for me, they feel very calming, um, very soothing. And it feels like there's that kind of sort of hot chocolate and feet in front of the fire or long walks in the wood wrapped up. It's a bit of self-care is needed at this time. 
So it's give yourself a bit of a break, give yourself some time and do what you want to do. So give yourself a bit of you time. And whether you, whether you do that for a day or a month, it doesn't matter. Is what, what, is what do you need for you? Where do you need to say no? Where are boundaries being crossed? So that's what platinum is. So this is this transformation, transmutation, changes in the air. Both, both of these cards, changes in the air. Now, coming on to Luna, Luna's one of the galactics. So she brings in that galactic spark and fizz and that energy that comes in. But she's one of the calmer galactics, where they can be quite whizzy and fizzy. Um, Luna's one of the more calmer, calmer galactics. And this is all about emotion. And I feel very watery with, actually, with Luna. So there's a, there's a, there's a tide connection here. Again, coming up to, you know, we've got this new moon, new moon energy coming in in the next next few days. So uh, it feels here that connect with the cycles, particularly the moon cycles, because they're because the moon can show us so much about ourselves, how we how we're affected by the pull of the moon, the new moon, the full moon. You know, our water and our, within our physical body changes with the pull of the tides and the moon pull. So, you know, maybe there's time, maybe for you, it's time to start and do a moon map of how you feel at any given time on the moon, on the moon phases. Because sometimes you feel better than others on, on a different phase. It's also about creativity. So this reflection and, and transformation, transmutation that's taking part with platinum bringing in luna she's bringing in that creative artistic but it just feels these both these cards feel really calm so it's very reflective it's not the manic that you can you can get the creative phases i know i get it with my writing i can't draw but um, with my writing i can get very you know very creative and there's you know typing away or scribbling away in my book or whatever but this actually feels like it's a, and breathe, and reflect, and create. So take the time out. Oh, pick him up. Take the time out with platinum. Do what you want to do from a creative, uh, from a, a, a bit of self-care type of time, you know, roasted marshmallows and i don't know whatever you whatever you need to do whatever makes you feel good you know skinny dipping in the freezing sea <laughs> i don't know but do what makes you feel good and then from that comes creativity comes fresh energy but it feels very reflective it feels very it may be very personal it may not be something that goes out for general uh, consumption or for general critique. It may be something for you that connects with your transformation and growth. It's very personal for you as a part of your journey. So whether it's writing or, I, I don't know, creating a piece of dance, I don't know, a piece of music, whatever. But Luna is saying, tap into that moon energy, follow the flow of the cycle of the moon you'll find it really, you'll find it really, really useful. Be reflective and be creative. So there we go. So that's your message overall for the week. But obviously Luna does take on a little bit further and go with that ebb and flow of the moon because we do ebb and flow as our, as our energy ebbs and flows with the moon. We have our highs and our lows as we get affected by the moon phase. So follow that, enjoy it. And I'd love to know how you get on and any feedback that you've got and whether you like the cards and all that kind of stuff. I'd love to know how you how you take it, uh, how you get on with it all and uh, how you find the reading and how you know whether it resonates with you or not. Until next week, I will love you and leave you. I'm wishing you a fantastic, creative, peaceful and tranquil week. See you later, kids. Big love from Dragon HQ.